you tell me if this is a, this is a hoe, okay? A hoe. I'm a person. <laughs> I've been in a relationship with one person, right? We've broken up. I've been celibate for two years. My friends say we want to go out. Yes, okay, yeah, cool. This is my opportunity. This is my opportunity to go get some dick because I haven't had sex what? in a really long time. So How club? is that? So you're going to go to a club and go find a man? People do that. People so have one night stands. That does not make you a hoe. That does not make you a hoe. Does not make you a hoe? No, it does not. Yes, it does. Because you speak to a guy on a night out and you're kissing Absolutely. him does not make you a hoe. It just means she no, likes one night like stands and that's okay. Not. That does not make I expect it. That's what people like to do. Whenever a female decides she doesn't want to conform to the ideas of how she's supposed to be as a woman in the world, people are going to call her a hoe, a J bag, a prostitute, whatever. If you have the mentality of a man of I'm going to the rave just to hook up with someone, I'm sorry, that's not a good look. That's it's not a good look. Okay, wait. Michael, he lets me know Michael. you probably throw your box around no, quite a bit. Yeah. Listen, maybe she's just came up from a breakup, right? She hasn't had sex oh, for, like, no. for like two years, That's okay? So Rebound. now she's thinking, my friends are taking me out and I, I really do want to- And she wants some dick? Yeah. Yes, okay, yeah. that doesn't make her a hoe. Some random dick, yeah. That doesn't make her a hoe though. <laughs> what, does it, what does it make her then? What does it make her? It makes her promiscuous. <laughs> it, makes, so it makes her what? It's not a person, it makes her. It makes, it, it, it's a person, it's a person. Actually, no, I want to know. What, what does it make her? I want to know what it makes no, her. No, to me, that's a person that knows how to go and get her needs met, okay? Oh, oh that far. I'll get my needs met by my nigga. That's a hoe. What do you mean a random nigga? I'll get my needs met by my fucking nigga, not a random nigga. I want to get my she needs met. She said that's a mood. <laughs> that's a very confident. <laughs> I'm a, a hoe and I'm confident. That's a confident hoe. Now, this is a very interesting conversation they're having as the female has convinced herself that her behavior doesn't reflect a 304. But it's actually very contradicting as that is everything that a 304 does. What it really sounds like is she doesn't want to conform to what a 304 is, what a streetwalker is. She doesn't want to be put in a box. But that doesn't change the definition. I think a lot of time these females, they're actually tired of being called what they are. As it, it does have a negative look on your character. Well, so be it, that's the person that you want it to be. But it doesn't change the definition of what a 304 is, and it doesn't change that what you are doing is what 304s do. The fact that she wants to try to normalize this whole aspect of the fact that you will go to a club to find a random guy to sleep with and sees nothing wrong with it, it just shows you how much feminism has really pulled the black females down how much how far they've actually gone mentally and how they see themselves and how they want to be seen in society she thinks is it's not about conforming listen black females don't have to conform to anything because they've made it very clear, especially to black men, that they don't want to listen. They'd rather be rebellious and they want to do what they, whatever they want to do with their cooch. Cool. That's you. But just because you don't want to conform to a higher standard in life, it doesn't change the definition of words. It doesn't change the definition of who you are and what you're doing. And what also is interesting is the other female who says you go and get your needs met by your ninja, if you get my drift. What you're really seeing is that there's actually different types of 304s. And what you're also seeing is these 304s are embracing it but they don't want to be pinned in a box. They don't want to be labeled as anything. They just want to be seen as your everyday woman that lives her life. But words exist for a reason, to describe people and describe what they do. This is why you can't have a actual logical conversation with a lot of black females today as they're always in denial, delusional 
or looking to redefine what words means for themselves to be more comfortable with their own degenerate behavior that's all that she's doing she wants her degenerate behavior to be accepted by others as she's well aware that being a 304 isn't accepted and isn't seen as any type of standard but actually it's the opposite it's the lowest part of what any woman could be and reduce herself to but she doesn't want to be seen that way although deep down she knows that she is a 304 which is why she says she doesn't want to conform to words she doesn't want her identity to be seen as a 304 but wants to act like it that's her real issue which is why she's very loud and proud to say what she's saying and it's it's really sad not because it's sad for her but it's sad that this is the state of black females today black females are very comfortable with this being their image in the black community they're comfortable promoting degeneracy they're comfortable normalizing it and then they want to question why black men are no longer approaching them why black men are no longer marrying them why other ethnic groups don't respect them why people dehumanize you more you really actually have to look at your behavior and what you're saying and what you're spreading and a lot of black females want to say it's not all of us it's not all of us it's not all of us but majority of you this is what you're representing but no one likes to speak about it you all just want to put it under the bed and act like this isn't happening and this isn't what and who black females are today I'm your hostess, Reminit Princess. These are my last thoughts. The fact that this is even a conversation, it really just shows where we are in the black community. How far behind we are. Why don't we have anything better to speak about? Why don't we have anything better to aspire to be? Or have anything better to actually reflect our image as a black woman but no black females rather entertain this mess and be it let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye